My name is Danielle Robertson and I operate Lost Pet Research and Recovery. Today I'm going to show you how to edit one of my Lost Pet poster templates to create your own Lost Pet poster using uh, Google Slides. First you need to purchase and download the Lost Pet poster templates from the Lost Pet Research Store. Then you need to go to your Google Drive. If you don't have one, all you have to do is create a free Google account. And the first step is to create a new file upload. Then you need to find where you saved the poster templates. And just click on this once the upload is complete. And then you want to click on Open with Google Slides. As you can see on the left, there are a variety of poster templates to choose from. We're going to use the first one. And the first step, you want to delete the existing photo and then go to Upload Photo from your computer. And if you ever make a mistake, you can just hit the undo button. If you hold shift, it will preserve the dimensions of your photo. Then I'm going to fix the description. In this case, it's a, still a gray tabby. And anytime you change the text, you want to make it as large as possible. You can see the default only goes up to 96, but you can put in whatever number you want. And try and make this extra large. And if it doesn't fit in the box anymore, you can highlight this box and make it a little larger. And we'll click on the photo. And you want to change your phone number. And we're going to edit the text. If you can't get to the text, click on the photo and then go to Arrange, Order, Send to the Back. Now you should be able to access the other elements. I'm going to change this to his name. And change this to Got Outside 914 because he's an indoor only cat. I'm actually going to make that a little smaller. If you find that you want additional text, you can go to this text box. Just be careful, you don't want to create too much text. I'm going to add call or text if seen. Highlight that, make it Arial Narrow Bold. Change that to 50. So once your poster is created, you want to go and actually delete all the other slides. This makes it easy for you. You want to go to File, Download, and I recommend downloading as a PDF. That it makes it easy to share with other people, and if they open it in other programs or different versions, it's not going to change the formatting. And if you click on that, it'll open it. You can check it out. And then download a copy to your computer. And the other thing you can do with uh, Google Slides, if you want, is if you click on this Share button, you can add in email addresses of other people you want to share it with. Or if you go to Advanced and you click on, you want to change access, anyone with the link can view and save. 
Now you can share this link with anyone so they can also download and print off some copies to help you. You can also share, they've got Gmail, Facebook, and Quick Links for sharing there also.